Hi, I'm Tyler with the Egan Police Department and you're watching the February edition of the Blue Blotter where we bring you the most interesting calls of the month. You might be wondering why I have a chicken in my hands. Well, one word, meth, and we'll get to that. Our first call happens a lot more than you think. On February 11th, a homeowner on Shields Drive emptied what he thought were cold ashes into his garbage can. A short time later, he noticed the flames coming out of the garbage and attempted to extinguish the blaze with a bucket of water. This was unsuccessful and the homeowner suffered minor injuries to his face being singed. He's given permission to show this photo. Egan Fire arrived and was able to help put out the blaze. Fortunately, nobody was hurt and this serves as a good reminder to always extinguish your ashes before throwing them away. Now this is one of those calls that's going to make you scratch your head. On February 18th, Officer Jorgensen stopped a car for expired registration. The officer asked the drivers for license and proof of insurance. When the driver reached into the glove box, the officer could clearly see a scale and a large amount of plastic baggies. The officer recognized this as possible drug paraphernalia and questioned the driver. The driver admitted to having a meth pipe and handed it to the officer. Officers arrested the driver and searched the vehicle. They found more drug paraphernalia, a full bag of weed, and a live chicken in a box. A what? Like a real chicken? Oh yeah, there's a chicken in there. That's the first. Officers learned that the driver had a warrant and provided a fake name. The driver was taken to jail and the chicken got a free ride home. The final call of this month's blue blotter is a scary one, and it shows how quickly things can happen. On February 22nd, officers responded to a stolen vehicle call. Officers arrived and met with the victim, who stated that he had left his car running while he ran in to grab a cup of coffee. While in the store, he observed the vehicle driving away. It was quickly entered as a stolen vehicle by responding officers. A short time later, Invergrove Heights spotted the stolen vehicle. The suspects attempted to flee police and pursuing officers lost sight of the stolen vehicle. A few minutes later, the suspects had crashed into another car with a woman and infant inside, causing serious injury to the woman. The suspects attempted to flee on foot but were captured a short time later. Officers learned the suspects were six runaways from North Dakota. Luckily, the infant was not harmed in this incident. Alright folks, that's it for this month's episode of the Blue Blotter. Be sure to check out the website and the Blue Blotter blog for more stories like these. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we recap what's happening in your backyard.